What's up everybody? Welcome back to the shop. So this is going to be a midweek update for me. Um, uh, I got some cool stuff in the mail that I want to show you. Plus, um, I made a little tiny bit of progress on the truck. Uh, so last video, I asked you guys your opinion on some stuff. Um, West Coast mirrors, plow lights, yes, no. Um, and it was overwhelming. Uh, you guys all said that it's a plow truck. It should have big mirrors. It should have um, cab lights. I'm like, okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, the truck I plow with uh, has oversized mirrors and it has cab lights. <laughs> so you guys weren't wrong. Um, still not going to do a two-tone paint job, though. Sticking to my guns on that one. Um, so I got the cab. I got the cab all set. So what I did was... Uh, like I told you guys before, I went around and cleaned up all my mold lines, um, got all that. And I realized that after I put it in primer, I forgot two mold lines or I missed them. Um, I did open up the cab uh, for the plow lights. I opened it up the doors for the West Coast mirrors. Um, I put it in primer and then I sanded. Sand, sand, sand. Um, I've had a couple of people ask, how do you do such a great job uh, with a rattle can? It's all in the preparation. Um, I sanded this primer. I went from, uh, started with 2,000 and ended with 8,000. Um, but in the process, I missed two mold lines. So I'm not sure you can see it. There's a mold line that runs right there. It's very faint. And one that runs right there so um, what I gotta do is I gotta go back and I gotta sand those I missed them so that's that's okay but I did decide yes cab lights yes West Coast mirrors uh, also I started thinking I'm like well if it's a plow truck so with my plow truck I, I have a three-quarter ton Chevy that I plow with here at the house it's got big mirrors it's like I said it's got cab lights but I also have one of those blinky lights on the roof. Blink, 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 blink. The orange blinky lights. Um, so I thought, okay, you know what? If I'm if a guy was going to buy this truck in 72 um, and he's going to put a plow on it, he was probably also going to put a plow light on the top of it, you know, so people don't smash into his brand new truck while he's out plowing in the middle of the night. Um, I'm wrapping my brain around how can I... Is there a kit that has one of those lights? Uh, is there a 3D printed one I could get? Um, and then I talked to my buddy, Tim, and he's like, you know those AMT big rigs come with a bunch of extra lights. So I dug out one of my AMT big truck kits. Uh, they had, I reach over here, I put it up here so Blizzard wouldn't play with it during the day. Um, they had a lens that kind of looked like it would be for a plow light. There it is. So th that is that lens CA glued to a Dodge hubcap. And I'm going to say, sitting up there, it's proportioned pretty good. And it actually kind of looks legit. I mean, it wouldn't. It would be center. I'll take. I'll do a better job of that. But I mean, it looks pretty good. So I got that. I got that thrown together. Um, I got, uh, like I said, I got the hood sanded. Everything's sanded except for the top of that cab. I gotta go back and re, re sand that. But so that's looking really good. I'm hoping, hoping to have that in paint by this weekend. Uh, probably won't be wet sanded because it's gonna sit for a few days. But I'm hoping to have the color on it, and I can guys, I can show you guys at least that. Um, now, what what did I get in the mail? First off, I got some really cool sh shop cards in the mail. Um, uh, okay, I'm I'm gonna say Jeff from uh, Jeff's Model Garage sent me this shop card, and uh, <laughs> just dying laughing when I saw it. Um, this is a Special edition card. There it is. <laughs> there 
it is. Oh my god. Concentrate on the little things, he says. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. That's, that's amazing. He also sent shop cards over for Heather and Ryan, which is fantastic. Uh, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Um, then, I was actually surprised to see this so quick. Um, so, everybody's been snagging this kid up, or at least everybody that can get their hands on one. Um, and I kind of missed the boat on it. Uh, I wasn't, like, super excited about it, um, at first, and then I started thinking, I mean, you guys have seen the thumbnail, you know what the kit is, um, I thought, man, I probably should buy one of those, um, just for the simple fact that everybody else is getting them, and it's a brand new kit, it's like the first to hit the market, and I really should have one, uh, I'm gonna look for one, nobody's got them, nobody's got them, of course, um, but my friend Jeff Elliott kind of gave me a heads up on one place on eBay that I could find it. Um, and I was lucky enough to snag one. And the thing showed up, like, within three days, which is fantastic. Fantastic. So here it is. Uh, I've got the, the Burt Myers um, Asphalt Modified. It's a combination. Uh, it's put out by Salvino's JR Models and Wes's Model Car Corner. Um, I've been hearing about this kit, well, actually the first kit that came out, and this kit. I've been hearing about these two kits for a while now, and like I said, I'm not, you know, I'm kind of getting into NASCAR. I'm kind of getting excited about it a little bit, because like I told you guys before, I watched it before. I was, I was kind of into it, um, so I'm thinking about picking up watching NASCAR again, seeing if I can get back into it. Um. Uh, and building some more NASCAR mo themed models. So I mean, I mean, I, plus it, it is a cool kit. So I got this, and I figured, um, this, I already cracked it open and looked at it, and uh, there's some really cool stuff in there, but it's not a lot. This, so I thought, why not? Let's take a look inside of this kit and see what's in here. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, um, give you guys a quick view of this kit, and uh, we'll go from there. So give me a second to switch stuff around and I'll be right back. All right. That for you guys, that was like a millisecond. For me, that was like 10 minutes of rearranging crap in this place. <laughs> I really have to clean this bench up. Uh, but anyway, here we are. So let's take a look at this kit. This is really cool. Um, like I said, I already opened it up and looked at it. So there's not a super amount of stuff in here, but pretty cool. Um, Kinda, I'm gonna try and keep the plastic bags uh, in one piece so that I can actually put stuff back in it because I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, I am probably not gonna build this model right away because I have a, a list of stuff that I wanna build beforehand. Plus, I kinda wanna cheat a little bit and let some other folks build it and work the bugs out of it. Um, because where it's a brand new kit, I'm sure there's bugs. Uh, and then maybe I'll tackle it later on. So, it comes for these slicks. Um, so there's no, no name on them, but I'm pretty sure this kit comes with Hoosier decals. So, you got four dr uh, racing slicks, of course. I mean, why wouldn't you have four slicks on a asphalt modified? Um glass very small amount of glass that will stay in there so there's a windscreen for one side there's your rear spoiler for the other right there and then i believe this is a windshield post if i remember correctly there's a clear windshield post on this i would imagine so you can see other cars and not smash into things um right off the bat I'm noticing. So you got multicolored. So you've got some silverish gray trees in here. Which, oh, this is already open. Fantastic. All right, cool. So you got suspension parts. Looks like brake parts. Exhaust, window nets, fuel tank stuff. Pretty cool. 
pretty pretty cool um, and then you've got what looks like you got hubs more exhaust pieces spoilers your engine stuff uh, right off the bat I'm noticing that there is two intakes one's got a spot for a distributor maybe and one doesn't We'll have to take a closer look at the uh, instructions to see that. Carburetor. So that stuff is molded in silver. Silverish gray. You got... Is this open too? Dang it. Okay, we'll open this up. And we won't do what Heather does and throw the plastic on the floor because we're going to save it. All right. So you get your white trees, it's got uh, your rims, air cleaner valve covers, suspension bars, bumpers, that kind of thing. Looks like interior tin work. Um, looks pretty cool. There's your body panels. All look really nice. And there's your chassis. I mean, not much to it, but it seems like it's going to be kind of complicated. Uh, decals, Card cartograph decals, those look really nice, really, really nice, so that's cool, those will be nice to go on, and then instructions, the Salvino JR models instructions are always really good, um, Gives you kind of a gives you a color breakdown of what you need there. A really good breakdown. Oh, I see. Okay, so you got one intake for the square hood with the distributor in the back, an intake for the bubble hood that distributes in the front. So that's why you got two intakes. Very cool. The seat, the chassis. It looks to me like you got to assemble this chassis around some things. So that's going to be fun for me because this is not what I do. Don't, you don't normally do NASCAR stuff, so. But these these uh, directions look very, very well placed out, so you can see what you're doing. Or well, should be able to anyway. So yeah, really cool. Really, really cool. All right, guys, let me flip the camera back around, and we'll uh, we'll get on our way. Okay, we're back. So that was a really quick look at what's in the box in that. Um, and like I said, there's not a super amount of stuff. I gotta repackage this up when we're done here. But it looks like a really decent kit and it should be fun. Uh, like I said, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the back burner. Uh, I'm gonna let a few other people build this um, and let other, boy, it sounds bad, but I'm gonna let some other folks work the kinks out of this new kit and um, Kind of learn from some other folks uh, before I start it. Uh, I just don't want it to bog me down, and um, I want it to come out really nice. So, yeah, that's the game plan with that. So, um, thank you for watching. Uh, I know this is kind of a longer video, but I think it's worth it. Um, we will get some paint on that truck this week or this weekend. Um, I got a pretty busy weekend. I have my uh, classic plastic uh, model show, model model show, model meeting um, on Saturday, and then I've got something uh, lined up on Sunday that I'm not sure I can talk about yet. Uh, but I got plans. So, <laughs> um, but either way, you you'll see me this weekend for sure. Um, so thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscription button, hit the bell, like, comment, do all that YouTube -y stuff. It, it helps us grow. Uh, as always, um, if you'd like a shop card or you'd like to send me some pictures of your builds or you want to shoot the shoot the breeze about models, the, my email is always linked in the description of every video. Uh, I had a couple of people uh, since the last video send me some emails with some pictures of some really cool stuff. Uh, and that is awesome. I love that stuff. I love to look at other people's builds and hear other people's stories. Um, 
it's just fantastic and it's what this hobby is about supporting each other so uh, let's keep it going uh, also as always uh, go check out mark at hobby nut models if it wasn't for mark i probably wouldn't have this plow truck to work on and show you guys how it comes out um, uh, normally when i do a build for mark it's just box stock to show you guys how it goes together uh, but I think I want to do this. I want to go a few steps beyond on this plow truck. Uh, I'm going to put some extra detail into it. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to wire the engine. I think I'm going to, like, run hydraulic lines to the plow. I'm going to do a little bit extra on this. Um, just for the fun of it. So, uh, yeah, follow follow along with that. I keep following along with that, however you want to say it. Uh, I guess that's that. I'm pushing my I'm pushing my limit on time, so I don't want to keep you guys too long. Um, thanks again, and we will definitely see you this weekend. Have a good rest of your week, folks. Bye.